His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. It's dangerous right now in Bolivia. Um, it's kind of violent there. The violence part of nationwide protests because of a military coup against the President Morales, who has since fled to Mexico. So you get the scene. It's very, you know, kind of time of war down right. there. Lots very going horrific. on. Mm-hmm. Yes. So all of this, a young Bolivian police officer and all that uh, coup when the president was fleeing, he was shot. He was shot in the chest. So um, they took him to the hospital and miraculously not one injury at all from that bullet because the bullet hit a Bible that was in his pocket on his left chest and the Bible took the bullet. He was uninjured and lived. So it wasn't a bulletproof vest. It was his Bible his that caught. That's Bible. cool. Little blue Bible. I love that. One of those pocket Bibles that you hold in there. Yep. Wow, there's no sermon in that story. That's amazing. I carry Bibles all over the place just in case. One, <laughs> one little in every pocket. In every pocket. Yeah. There must be very slim line because I don't see an indentation of a pocket Bible. Because people are always throwing things at me. Oh, so <laughs> and it bounces off of that? Yes. That is quite amazing, though. You need some Bibles. Yeah, I see it as like a representation of like... What the what the Bible did for us, what the Lord did for us, kind of a shield standing in between, and that He's active in His faith. Yeah, and so He's He's on the police force in a very dangerous area of the world, and He makes sure that He works on His faith in Christ. Yep, every single day. So there's every aspect of that story. And it wasn't a big family Bible; it was just a pocket Bible, a small little Bible. Probably when he goes off to lunch or something like that, he's reading that to just be encouraged.